Hi, this is DarkFox127, and welcome to another Skyrim Creation Kit tutorial video. Today, I'm going to be covering making items static and havoc animations. So, I have hopped into my Millwater Retreat mod and gone into the basement just for this one, just for a room to sort of mess around in. Now, with Skyrim, we tend to have a nice selection of static items but sometimes there'll be an item that isn't static and you'd like it in a room but you don't want the player to be able to move it around for whatever reason so maybe if you've got a shelf full of goblets and stuff and you don't want the player to sort of call out battle cry and then everything fly off the side you want everything to stay on that shelf maybe as an example or in my case sometimes I'll be in miscellaneous and I want to place a basket down but I want it to act more like just a, a bin in the corner and I don't want the player to be able to pick that up and take it away with him or her. So let's take the basket as a good example here. So if we place the basket just into the cell here and we rise this up slightly and then if we hit the Havoc animation this is how it's going to act in game. That's going to drop down to the floor, it's going to be able to be kicked about, it's going to be able to be picked up, activated. Uh, people don't, um, you might not want people to do that necessarily. So if we want this to just be static, not move at all, and be able to hit it with fire and everything, then here's how we're going to do it. So we're going to alternate click and edit on the basket in the object window here. And we're going to notice here we've got a model. Now this is clutter basket nif. This is just the directory in which it's at. So if you're gonna you want to highlight all of that, so hold down your primary click, drag across, make sure you do that, and press Ctrl and C on your keyboard. You can alternate click and copy, but I usually control and C. And we are going to copy this model. That's what we've done here. We're gonna click off there, and it's a really simple process to make this item static. We're gonna go under world objects here and static, then we're gonna alternate click and new somewhere in the object window and you're gonna make a brand new static item and give it the model that we've just copied so it's as simple as that so ID is going to be MR let's call it basket 01 and then we're going to go edit the model click edit again and you should be going under meshes here it should automatically direct you to your data folder and meshes if it doesn't then you will have to make sure you do that yourself then don't don't click in here or anything simply click in the file name section control and V and as you can see we've copied the directory of the model that we actually want to use so we're going to click open and as you can see if you've done it correctly if everything works fine you should now see the basket in the window here. Now I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And as you can see, it's in the model there, and it's as simple as that. We have made a static version of the basket. So click OK. Now this is still our, our Havoc version, as you can see. Pick it up and drop it. So I'm just going to delete that one. And I'm going to search for my new basket here. And my basket 01. I'm going to drag and drop that into the render window. I'm going to pick that up and just to prove that it doesn't have settle. Well, there we go. Havoc is already on. It doesn't have settle. You'll go in the game. You won't be able to kick it about. You won't be able to pick it up or nothing. That is now a static item. So you can pretty much do that with any items. And in fact, you can sort of reverse that. If you had a static item and you wanted an inventory version of it, something that you could pick up, then you could just reverse the process. But the one thing to note with that is it wouldn't have havoc animation so if you placed just for a silly example if you placed this wall which is always usually just a, a static item if you place this wall or even this wheel which is static and you made a miscellaneous version of the item so you went new and copied the model into there and you put that in the player's inventory when the player drops it it's most likely going to just stay stuck in midair and you might not even be able to re-pick that up so you have to just be aware of that but you can do things the other way around so you could even create unique activators and stuff so that's how you do that the only other thing that I really wanted to cover was Havoc Animation maybe if you want an item that is stuck inside a wall say like a knife but you don't want that knife to drop so you would think well yeah I'll make it static but you still want to be able to pick that knife up so you don't want it to have a drop. Now usually this used to be a simple matter if we just find a, a knife here. Let's get a basic knife. 
where's it gone? Probably just make this ridiculously large. I'm gonna re drag and drop that back in. Oh, the Havoc animation's on. Hold on then. Just drag and drop this knife in. Let's just make this ridiculously large knife so we can see it. So if I didn't want this knife to drop down to the floor, but I still wanted the player to be able to activate it maybe, then knock it out of the wall, then what we used to do with the kit, which doesn't seem to work very well anymore, is we'd have double clicked on that item and clicked Don't Have It Settle. And that means when the cell loads, it's not going to drop to the floor. It's only going to drop to the floor when someone activates it or bumps into it. Now, that isn't enough to make it work anymore, uh, which is nice and wonderful. I don't know why. But you want to go under scripts under that item. Don't worry, we don't have to write a new one. Click add. Let that load up. If you get any errors, just click yes to all as usual. And we are going to add a default script, which should already be available to you. So type in Havoc, and you'll probably end up with three or more. Default disable Havoc on load. You want to add that one on. Click into there. Go into the properties. And you're going to want to change the top two properties. Click on the first one. Click edit value. Don't tick the box at all. And do the same for the next one. Click OK. And now, quite simply, that will not move at all unless you go up to it and activate it or bump it. So when it loads, it will essentially remain stuck in the wall. Now, there's not really much point in me going in game and showing you. Uh, the static item is simply what it is. It will become static. I've shown you that. And the knife will remain stuck in the wall. So that's how you make items static. And like I said, you can use that in, in other methods like making activators. It doesn't have to be copying the model just to make a static item. And I've shown you how to prevent items from dropping as the cell loads. So you can have, say, like a piece of paper with a knife stuck in it to the wall, which I've done on Corinthia Tower. So that is it. A nice little quick tutorial. Uh, my old version of it was a little flawed in many cases, and it was sort of a, a weird workaround. I'll probably remove that off my channel now. So that's it. I hope you found it helpful. Please leave comments. Let me know what you think. Please visit my anti-social website and my main website, all the usual. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll speak to you next time. Thank you.